My name is Shmulke Gebrachts. I've been working in Jewish outreach for almost 18 years now, almost high year. Jewish outreach is not for everyone. It takes an understanding of people, and it takes an understanding of psychology, and it takes an understanding of Judaism. It took me many years to develop my approach. The Shabbaton is coming! The Shabbaton is coming! Prepare yourselves! The Shabbaton is coming! A Yiddish neshama, a Jewish soul, is always reaching for that opportunity to bring itself closer to its Jewish roots. When I'm on the streets talking to people, I know I'm successful, I know I'm reaching them. I know that they understand me and that they have those feelings and that they want to come closer. Don't you understand how important this is? I'm talking, Woody, but this is really important stuff. I'm talking about your life here. What about Torah? You get to really know people. You get a sense for what's successful. You get a sense for what really works. Excuse me, sir. Are you Jewish? Yeah. Okay, so I have some important things to talk to you about. Are you familiar with Shabbos? Are you familiar with, with mitzvahs, you know, Torah and mitzvahs? No, yes, well, these are the central core of your Judaism. These are the most important parts of, of Jewish living as a yeah, Jewish person. Yeah. I'm sure that these are of vital importance to you. There's a trade secret in the outreach profession. We realize that Jews love food. Cholin! We've got Cholin! Delicious! Free Cholin! Don't be embarrassed. If anyone wants Cholin, we've got Cholin. Delicious chulent. Anyone want chulent? We've got delicious chulent. Chulent. We have chulent. I really relate to these people. I can feel a bond. So when I'm on the streets, I know that my food is attracting Jewish souls. It's got potatoes. Usually it's got meat. This one's parav though. You have to speak to people in a way that's really going to inspire them. It's really going to touch their soul. And when you do, they really hear it. They get it. You know you're successful after you've brought people to that one event, when you've made that first step. Once people have made that first step, then you've come closer to bringing them closer. So we have a Shabbaton coming up in a few weeks. It's a celebration of uh, the Jewish Sabbath. They'll be singing and dancing, great food. I think you'll really enjoy it. I got that guy. The gauge for success is results, and I know that my method works. Last Tuesday, I made seven people religious. And yesterday, I made four people religious, and I only worked half a day because in the afternoon, I had an appointment to take my mother for some work on her goiter. I can't really think of anything I'd rather be doing. It's so fulfilling. It's not just a job. It's, it's great exercise. It's the most important thing, the central part of Judaism. It's the most important thing that there is to know. Don't you, sir, don't you understand? I, hey, sir. They're going to get him! They're going to get him!